sending invoices, and collecting payments. All right, let's talk about making money and getting you paid. In this lesson, we'll highlight some of the best software options for creating invoices, and I'll share with you some pro tips for motivating your clients to pay you in a more timely manner. Let's jump into it. The first thing to know is that if you're already using one of the three most popular accounting software options, which are FreshBooks, QuickBooks, and Xero, all three of these already have the built-in feature to send invoices. So rather than getting a separate invoicing software, we would recommend keeping everything under one roof and utilizing the software that you already have. Back to invoicing softwares. Here are a few companies that I would recommend you look into. Now keep in mind that when using these different software systems, they are free, but you will pay a small fee per transaction when your clients use a credit card to pay you. And we'll cover more on that in just a bit. One company is called Wave, and they offer a really clean experience for both you and your clients. Another company you might already be familiar with is called Square, and they have a free invoicing software that they call Square Up, and that's pretty slick. Then finally, there's of course PayPal, which also offers the ability to create invoices. We've linked to each of these softwares below this video. The bottom line here is that you've got multiple great options for when it comes to choosing your invoicing software, and you can't really make a wrong choice, so don't stress too much about this decision. Just go with whichever one you ultimately feel most comfortable with. You can actually do a few things to motivate your clients to pay you faster. Here are a few of my personal pro tips. Don't procrastinate and send that invoice as soon as possible. First, you'll want to invoice your clients as soon as your work is complete. The quicker that you send out an invoice requesting payment, the faster you'll get paid. Now, this may seem like a no-brainer, but I do know plenty of people who seem to wait a week or two before sending out their invoice. And to me, this just seems a bit silly. I would recommend that you send out your invoice even within the same email that you send the download links or the attachments of your final work results to the client. In some countries, it's even customary to receive payment at the end of every month. So it could be a good idea to check with your client to see when they'll process the invoice and when you can expect that payment. I personally would often add a quick line within my email saying something like, please let me know when you can process the attached invoice at your earliest convenience. Something that's polite yet straight to the point. Next on your invoice, you'll need to specify when payment is due. Your invoicing software will give you some options, but I'd recommend setting this to due on receipt. It's worth noting though, that some of your clients and particularly the larger organizations may ask you to update your invoice to say net 30, which means that that client has 30 days to remit the payment, just like the one month time period we just mentioned. Next is use the power of usage not transferred. One pro tip is that you should include a sentence on the invoice that says something like usage not transferred until payment is received. This is a short but powerful sentence. You're effectively saying that even though your client might already have your final photos or videos in their possession, their official ownership of those media licenses doesn't begin until they've paid you in full. This is a very good way to protect yourself from bad actors and to motivate your clients to pay you even faster. Next is to consider credit card payments. It's usually easier for a client to make a quick credit card payment online than to physically write and mail you a check. Of course, it's important to acknowledge that if you take credit cards, then you must pay a credit card processing fee. This is a personal choice. Some would argue that small businesses should always accept credit cards since that's the preferred method of payment for so many people, and therefore you'll get paid faster. But at a base fee of 2.9% per invoice, your credit card fees can add up to hundreds or even thousands of dollars per year, and obviously that can really cut into your bottom line. One solution is that you can tack on an additional fee if your clients want to pay by credit card, or you can simply state that you only accept check payments. And don't feel bad for asking for a check. It's actually quite common for small businesses to be paid this way. It's also increasingly popular to be paid via direct bank transfer or online money transfer. These can be services like PayPal, which is probably the most popular, or a new company called Wise, which is formerly known as TransferWise. 
Now, both PayPal and Wise do charge a small fee per transaction, but there may be a way to get around this small transfer fee, and that is transferring directly from bank to bank, especially if it's the same bank. There should be no fee for the transfer at all, and it's usually a lot faster to process. All right, so hopefully you now have a better understanding of where you can go for good invoicing solutions and how to set expectations with your clients for paying you in a timely and efficient manner.